So over the last few weeks, we've been looking at confronting sin, um, when you should overlook it, cover it, when you should confront it, when and how you should forgive it. And it, that last video raised a question. What do you do when someone sinned against you, um, but they haven't asked for your forgiveness? It's not something you can overlook. You've maybe confronted it, you've brought the sin to the person, but they don't ask for your forgiveness, they don't express any sorrow. It's a very common scenario in our lives. Well, remember in the forgiveness video, we talked about two kinds of forgiveness. One was positional, being in a position to forgive, and the other one was transactional, when you actually transacted forgiveness. And the positional forgiveness was just a willingness to be forgiving and to offer forgiveness. The transacting was the actual giving of forgiveness when someone says, sorry, please forgive me. So we're really back to thinking about what does positional forgiveness look like? How do we experience it? And I thought the best way to illustrate it was to give you an example prayer a prayer to pray when someone has sinned against you and hasn't asked for forgiveness and maybe doesn't even agree that they've sinned against you. Well, here's the, here's the wording of the prayer. Um, let's just assume it's Jim that's done something wrong here. Lord, Jim has done me great wrong, but won't confess it or ask for forgiveness. I can't therefore forgive him without misrepresenting you or damaging his spiritual welfare. However, I'm not going to carry this pain around to burden and burn my mind and heart for years. I'm handing this over to you because you said, vengeance is mine, I will repay. Lord, you know I don't want your vengeance executed on Jim, but with this prayer, I'm promising no more vengeance on my part. I hand that entirely over to you. I promise not to dwell upon this instant, but rather I transfer it all over to you and trust you to put it right in your own time and way. You know I'm ready to forgive Jim fully, freely, and forever, should it ever be asked for. Please help Jim to understand your view of sin and to seek your forgiveness and mine. Amen. That's a prayer I've come back to a number of times in my life, in different situations, different people. And I would suggest it's a prayer you want to keep handy because you'll need it. You, you don't want to be going around with a bitterness and a vengeful spirit, but neither can you give forgiveness when somebody doesn't want it. And I believe this is the way God would have us hand it over to him and so relieve us of the burden and the burning that comes from sin against us that we cannot forgive until somebody asks for it.